Over the Rainbow in Eva Cassidy's version is capoed at fret 1, and there's a lot of material to cover in this song, so we're going to break it up into three videos. This first one will cover the intro and the verse, and that happens to be on page 1 of the tab, so that's what you need in front of you for this lesson. And we'll get straight into the intro, which sounds like this. So now we're in the key of G, or playing chord shapes in the key of G, and this intro, the first two bars of it, alternates between two variations of a G chord. Throughout this you want the sixth string at the third fret, and chord number one adds the, the third string at the second fret. Chord number two has the third string open, but the second string at the third fret. Okay, so chord number one, third string, second fret, chord number two, second string, third fret. It alternates between those two chords. So in bar one, we start off by pinching six, three, and two out of chord number one, and then we play the fourth string. Then we go to chord number two and just pick strings three and two, and the fourth string. Then chord number one, we pick three and two, and play the fourth string, and chord number two, play three and two, and hit the fourth string. So with the count, with the rhythm of the bar, we get this. One and two and three and four and. And that continues into bar number two, which is exactly the same, except we don't hit the sixth string on the first beat. So chord number one, fourth string, two, fourth string, one, fourth string, two, fourth string. You'll feel as you play it that it's just an exercise in these two fingers alternating off and on. Which is actually quite a good fingering exercise for the guitar in itself. At bar 3 we go to an A minor 7 shape, which is A minor but the 3rd string is open. Pinch 5, 3 and 2, 4, and now chord number 2 in this case adds the 2nd string at the 3rd fret. Play 3 and 2, 4, Back to chord number one, second string at the first fret, three and two, four, and chord number two, second string at the third fret, play three and two, and now four open. She often does this, hits an open string as she's moving slightly early into the next chord shape. So bar three counts one and two and three and four and, and chord number four. Uh, bar number four gives us a chord that's acting as a D-type chord, the dominant chord to bring us back to the G home chord and the arrival of the verse. She actually plays C over D, a C chord with a D bass. It's the first string at the third fret and the second and third strings at the fifth fret. Pinch four and one, then three, two, three, pinch four and one again, three and five, and you'll be moving your hand to the G chord that's coming at bar five. One and two and three and four is the rhythm, and she actually pauses on that fourth beat and comes in singing whenever she feels it. So that's your intro. <laughs> 